Welcome back everyone to Xanadu Next. Now we're going to buy the Splint Mail. Armor that is crafted from multiple sheets of metal. Due to the multiple parts, it is easy to move around in. Oh, very good, very good. Now then, it's time to assign some of those delicious stat points. So that we can actually wear it. And then we'll actually uh, be able to use the Drake's Claw as well. Okay, parameters. <laughs> That's not a parameter, what am I thinking? Now... Yeah, we need 28 for that. 20 for that. Uh, and I'll put a bit more in mind as well, why not? Mm hmm. Thank you for your blessings, Lies. Now then. Aha! Looks very nice, very nice. It is a two handed weapon. But what's a strong arm, eh? Grants a bonus to strength. Yep, as I thought. Well, we don't really need a bonus to strength at the moment. Hmm. But what we do need to do. Save it. Hmm. Hmm. I might actually uh, end up selling that scale armor. Unfortunately. Well, let's go sell it right now. We're running out of space after all. Yeah, analeptic slash. We may not be able to buy it in the store, but we're not going to be using it again. So we may as well just sell it. Right then. Okay, I am ready for this. I'll see you up ahead. I always wondered what this thing is here. This stone in the middle. It's kind of special, but I have no idea what it may have been. <laughs> Almost seems like some kind of giant stone spinning top. Anyway, we've explored the other rooms, so it's time to move forward. The Keystone Discus. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I've put uh, that jolting blade on our. on our Drake's claw to make sure. just in case we meet any undead. Hmm. Your potions will not save you. Ah. Well, uh, thunder didn't seem to have very much effect on them now, did it? Yeah, you, you can swing your crossbows all you want. So far, they're proving quite easy. Hello there. Ah. Yeah, that is until they actually hit you. Ah. I can't change the camera in this area. They heard that. rather than jolting blade. Oh. Well. About 54 to 55 on those ones. Uh-huh. And yeah, it doesn't seem to actually affect the damage. 
least not on these ones. Whew, great. I've already got a fair bit of experience. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll keep it like that, just in case we run across any undead. Nice critical hit to start with. Ah. I was holding the move button down. Oh well. Well, that's certainly not a dead end. It's not quiet. That's a good sign. Uh, let's just check the walls. So I, don't, I don't quite remember the Xanadu Labyrinth as well as other places. Because it all looks the same to me. But hey, we've got another Keystone Discus. I'm feeling that this place is going to be rich in Keystone Discuses. Hey there, Agnes. <laughs> By the way, you're using an outdated sword. What have you found? Let's see, right now I've got this magic potion for 2,000 gold you might want. Mm, no, thank you. Oh, shame. I would like some more healing potions, though, just in case. 1,500? Well, well, I'll take it. Thanks much. Did you figure out a way to remove the barrier around Castle Strange Rock? If you can't find a way to get rid of that barrier, then there's no way we can get inside. Counting on you, partner. <laughs> Great. We'll find a way. Hmm. Even so, we still don't know what she's here for. She's a... Just a hunting treasure, huh? I suppose the ultimate treasure must lie within Castle Strange Rock. Now that's good. Uh. <laughs> there is actually a skill that we can get um, that will improve the speed of our attacks. There's also a skill that we can get to improve our running speed. It's... It'd be handy to use them with the two-handed swords like these. I love the crossbow men. Well, the crossbow goblins. They're so easy. Let's go this way first, then. Oh! Well, um... Puzzle room. Well, it's not really a puzzle, it's more like... Make sure you destroy the goblins up there before actually going to push the boxes, because they're made of wood. Ah. Warriors are my least favourite simply because they're so, uh. Ha! Oh, ah. So resilient! Goblin and Goblin Healers. Oh man, not the Master. Thankfully, we uh, killed all of his lackeys already. I think he can... Well, he can do that. I think he can improve their attack power or something. 
Looks like he's also improving his own attack power or something like that. My right, guys! Now, try as you might! You have a pretty good healing speed there, but it's just not gonna work, is it? Not when someone's stabbing you in the back with the two handed sword. Aha! This is how we can get to those annoying goblin spellcasters. There's one over the other side as well. Kind of looks like there might be. Oh yes, there is. Yeah. Let's go this way first. That's actually a place to go. Hmm. Eh, why not? Let's go. Now he's doing stuff. Ah, those goblin healers are going to be. Ah, oh, oops! I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to press R. I meant to press F. Oh man! So many particle effects. Ugh. Good. <laughs> Took a hit doing it, but it was worth it. Port is leveled up to more discounts for us. Oh man! Good, good. Whew. Really, the goblin leader by himself is. Not much of a threat at all. It's even worse than the warriors. Right, what's over here then? Oh no! Oh man, I remember this room. This was the one I was stuck on for ages. You know, I'd rather I'd rather solve this puzzle off screen, or at least find I'll practice off screen. It's so weird. Well, I'll, I'll give it a try now. Hmm. Damn, I can do it though. Oh well. Okay. Well, to start with, got to push these around, haven't we? Uh huh. Hmm. But then we need to. We need to get. We need to remove that red block. So that we can uh, get that green one. How on earth do we remove that one? <sighs> yeah, but if we put that green one there, then that will use two of them, and we'll be able to use that to get rid of those. And well, we we would have already used that one to get rid of that, so we can't use it to get rid of those. Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, why not? Can't get rid of that because we already we we need three blocks. Ah, I'm pretty sure that the simple for I mean the solution for this is probably quite simple. I'll get to it another time though. I will be practicing that before recording the next video. I'll find the solution one way or another. Let's get rid of those spellcasters. There's even a chest here for our troubles. And tablature. Leo. T 
can't even tell what kind of material it is. Uh, judging by that sound. Or oh, simply going by that sound. Hi, guys! Oh, man. Uh, this was a bad idea, actually. So I can still cast spells. Oh, man. Oi! Get away from us. Oh, man. And our own spells are not doing much damage at all. Okay, go all out. down there. Eesh. Don't try to get to me get me to enter the next room now. Okay, excellent. Oof. Now we're we, we can't jump down for whatever reason, but that's okay. We can just walk around. I don't think those spellcasters actually respawn. Ever. So we'll just get this done now. And that opens that. Okay, well, we'll uh, check out more of this labyrinth next time. For now, let's go ahead and deliver the last. well. This tablature that we have to Shah. And get some more reading done. Uh, definitely going to have to buy more potions for next time as well. Ah, you brought me more tablatures! Let's see. Memoirs. Or tablatures. Uh, well, considering that we still have a lunch at the moment, go for memoirs. 17th day of the demigod's moon, year 1216. Much has happened, and the moment has arrived. It should have been me who was chosen. All those days I spent utterly worthless. There's no way I can get them back now. Now my sister has gone and left me. Regardless, that task was supposed to be mine, mine to bear for the sake of all Xanadu. Now it is time I throw away memories of the past. Now I must become the sacred maiden of the seal. Hmm. Well, that's rather ominous. And what happens two days later? We'll have to find out another time. Because currently we need to rest. So many, so many fireballs to the face. Oh. Thankfully that will all go away. See you next time, everyone. That Xenadu Labyrinth. Uh, we are not nearly done with that yet. Bye for now.